four games without a win. Is our promotion dream over? Hello and welcome to episode 16 of Rebuilding Derby. My name is Jamie and coming up on today's episode I have got two games for you in EFL League 1. We're at home to Wickham and away at Gillingham. Since you were last with me we have uh, played four matches and are without a win in any of them and that leaves the EFL League 1 table looking like this. And we are in fourth place in the league with 63 points from 34 games two points adrift of Rotherham in the second automatic promotion spot, three points adrift of league leaders Ipswich Town, and uh, we're facing a Wickham side who are ninth in the table on 49 points, so 14 points behind us. It's a game we should be winning, but uh, let's go and uh, see if we can do just that. So let's uh, have a little... Uh, Think about the uh, the team selection. Uh, just a couple of changes, I think. We will give Ari and B a rest. And uh, that will be, I think, probably Harry Clark. And then Tom Heyman needs a rest. So Dominic Revan can come in and replace him. And I think those are the only changes I want to make. So that is the team we're going to submit, although we've got too many loan players in the uh, side. So I'm going to take Ari and B out completely and bring in uh, Jason, no, Tom Hamer. He needs a rest, but he's... Uh, he can sit on the bench. That's fine. So we'll submit the team. And go and try and win the match. Just waiting for the, uh, the warm-ups to conclude. And then we'll uh, give the lads a quick word of encouragement. I think that's exactly what we need to do. We need to pump the fists and tell them a win puts us into an automatic promotion position and send them out. And let's see what happens in the first few minutes before we decide how we're going to approach the game. It looks like Wickham have started the better of the two. And they have, but there's no highlights as of yet, so we'll demand more. We do have the first shot on target, but it has an XG of absolutely zero, so it was obviously not a, not a good shot. And there's already some tired legs out there, despite the fact we're only 15 minutes into the match. This is a long way from ideal. So we need to demand more. We need to get ahead before we start thinking about substitutions. 20 minutes gone, it's still nil-nil. We still have the only shot on target and we are narrowly ahead on XG. Louis Sibley wants to come off. But I'm gonna keep him on for a little bit longer. Try and make him get through the half time. So demand more. far too many players who are on fumes at the moment. Sibley plays it down the line for Randall. Randall plays it in and Ryan Longman has made it Derby 1, Wickham Wanderers 0. And we won't bother with a replay, we'll just Courage. See if we can get him through to half time. Looks like we should be able to. Just 
just a couple of minutes to go till the uh, the half time interval we lead 1-0 but that is not going to be enough to win the game and it is 1-0 at half time so we will drop some encouragement so we'll um, point the finger things are going well but you're capable of better and then let's uh, get Louis Sibley off and Jordan Brown on and that will do for the half time change and then I'm sure my assistant won't be too long in recommending further changes it's looking like it's going to be Dreyer and Randall Luke Dreyer, Sam Bulldock I'll try and wait for the hour mark for that to do that one See if you can get another five, six minutes out of him. And looks like he's made it that far. So we've, we've got him off, and we, that leaves us one substitution. And it's looking like it's going to be Randall. Try and leave that to the last 15 minutes if we can. And it'll be Randall. I think for Kyle Joseph. And then we'll put uh, Kyle Joseph up front. When he decides to eventually come on it's fish with the ball he gives it to the right back Kane Ramsey Ramsey down the line plays it for Longman gets it back keeper makes a save it's out for a corner Kyle Joseph is on but playing out of position currently so we'll put Tom Bradshaw on there and that's the way it's going to be for the next 12 or so minutes. Fingers crossed that we can start the episode with a win. Let's demand more. Rotherham are solidly top of the table. They're winning comfortably at Cheltenham. Ipswich have been knocked off the top. It does look like we might just be about to hold on for the uh, three points. Three added minutes, so we'll go to very defensive on 91 and a half minutes. See if we can just hold out for the last one and a half minutes, and we do. And we'll give the lads a bit of encouragement. So hands on hips, well done, good win. See if the uh, media want a word. And uh, if they do, we'll uh, be similarly encouraging. And they do, so let's go and have a word with them. So. to do. Uh, important to be strong at home. And Harry Clark performed very well. I'm very well versed in this particular art. And there we go, that's the uh, the first match done. I will see you very shortly for the second match of the episode. Time now for the uh, second match of the episode and we are away to bottom of the league, Gillingham. And the team that's going to go out there and try and get the win is Cal Roos in goal, the back four of Tom Hamer, Will Fish, Bright Arian B and Dominic Revan. Defensive midfielder is Max Bird. Central midfielders Luke Dreyer and Louis Sibley. Ryan Longman and Joel Randall on the wings. Kyle Joseph up front. Let's go and uh, try and get a win. Oh, hang on. We've got six lone players in the, uh, 
the lineup will need to lose one of those. So we will lose we'll lose Joel Randall and bring in Tom Bradshaw there we go and then we'll drop Joel Randall out of the side completely and bring in Cornell McDonald so the revised lineup then it's Cal Ruth in goal back four of Hamer, Fish Arian B and Revan Max Bird at the base of midfield Dreyer and Sibley ahead Longman and Bradshaw the wingers and Carl Joseph up front. Let's go and do a win. And we'll uh, give the uh, the team talk ahead of uh, kickoff once the warm up's been completed. And I am going to uh, pump the fists and tell them we're favourites for a reason and send them out. We need to be winning this game, so that's uh, we need to get on the front foot nice and early. We've had the first shot and the first shot on target. Five minutes gone. Let's encourage as we're away from home. And that seems to have worked for most of the team. We're doing okay at this stage, 12 minutes gone, still nil-nil, but we've had the uh, much the better of the game. Although Dreyer is not having his finest hour in a derby shirt. So he might need a bit of a shake at half time. Let's drop a demand more at this stage, try and get, get ahead at, before half time. And it's a throw in to Derby and the first highlight of uh, of the half. Bradshaw takes it down the left wing, goes into the area, has a shot. It's gone in, but I don't think it's going to count. No, it's offside. So Bradshaw has the shot and Joseph is marginally offside. It was very, very tight. So we'll get ready to demand more again. Arian B gives it to Bird, who goes over the top for Drea. Drea needs some help, he's not getting any. And we've got them boxed in at this point. Drea gives it to Joseph. Back to Sibley, back to Bird. Bird needs to do something with this. He's giving it short to Dreyer. Sibley, Bradshaw. Sibley goes wide for Revan. Revan, can you get your cross in? No, he goes backwards and it's cleared. But the highlight continues. Bird plays it through for Bradshaw, who finishes. Gillingham nil, Derby one. half an hour on the clock and we will watch this replay so Sibley was tackled but it went to Bird Bird slotted Bradshaw in and Bradshaw just fires past the past the goalkeeper low into the corner Gillingham nil, Derby won and it's a free kick for Derby right on the edge of the area Bird with the free kick round the wall and he's curled it into the top corner. It is a brilliant goal, I agree with the commentator's verdict. And we will watch the replay from the other angle. Bird flights it over the wall. Keeper absolutely nowhere near that. Hull, uh, Gillingham nil, Derby two. And that takes us to within one point of it switching second place. But Birmingham have now 
gone above Ipswich, so we're now two points behind the automatic promotion spots. And half time is uh, rapidly approaching. Two added minutes, we're into the second of those, and that's half time. It's uh, Gillingham nil, Derby County 2. And it's, uh, yeah, I think uh, pump the fists, things are going well. Send them out. But Longman could probably do with coming off, to be honest. And let's give the youngster Malcolm Abbey away. Have a little bit of a run out. We're going to have to start using the uh, youngsters a bit more if we're going to rest our first teamers. And this is an ideal opportunity when we're 2 0 up away from home for him to get some experience. And it's Clark, Mark, and Day. Goes backwards to MacDonald. It's headed clear. And then booted clear. Joseph tackles him but can't win the ball. Gillingham in. And they have scored. Danny Lloyd. So we are going to need to uh, probably demand more again at this stage given that we're only one minute into the second half. So yeah, we'll proceed with those changes. Demand more. And we are comfortably ahead on XG. We're ahead on shots, ahead on shots on target, ahead on corners. But Tutonda gives it to Lee. Gillingham coming forward again, McDonald to Mark and Day, back to McDonald, back to Aimer, to Lee, Aimer again, Aimer goes back to his goalkeeper, Bass lumps it long, and it's back with Darby, Sibley goes through, plays it wide right to Abbey away. Abby away gives it to Drayon and then gets it back. It's punched clear by the goalkeeper to Mark and Day. And R &B picks it up and Darby come again. Revan looks for help, gets it from Sibley. Bird goes down the line. Revan into the box. Kyle Joseph with the finish and it's Gillingham 1, Darby 3. That was a very nicely worked goal. And so we will be watching that again. Revan turned, got help from Sibley. Sibley knocks it by the bird, bird over the top. Revan puts it on a plate for Joseph and he slots it past the goalkeeper. 55 minutes on the watch. We're now just one point off the uh, automatic promotion slots. That must mean Ipswich Town are not winning. But I don't know how they are getting on at this stage. Sub is looking like being Ari and B. Burton are ahead against uh, Birmingham. Right, let's get Ari and B off. And Harry Clark on. And one more sub. Looking like Dreyer for Jordan Brown. With just over 10 minutes to go. And we now need to just calm things down a little bit. Bass with a long kick. It's back with Mark and Day who gives it to Clark. Clark goes inside to Jarvis. Jarvis 
hits the crossbar and it remains Gillingham 1 Derby 3. Five minutes left. Rotherham go ahead. It's now a corner to Derby. Sibley with that corner. Floats it in. Headed over the bar by Bradshaw. And four added minutes has been signalled. We're into that now. Revan with the throw in. Doesn't get the required distance but gets it back. Sibley gives it to Bird, to Brown, wide to Hamer. Hamer plays it inside and it's somehow wide. Four added minutes of which we've played two. And we've seen the game out nice and safely. Gillingham won Derby three, the final score. So we'll outstretch the arms. Well done, lads. Good win. We'll have a word with the media if they want to uh, speak to us. Confirm the league table. And then we'll, uh, we'll look ahead to uh, what's coming up on the next episode tomorrow. So just waiting for the, uh, the game to save and the uh, the media to decide if they want to uh, to talk to us. And they don't on this occasion. So we'll go straight ahead to looking at the uh, the schedules and we will decide when we're going to come back. And I think we will come back for the uh, double header between at home, uh, Burton Albion and Swindon, which will take place on tomorrow's episode. And uh, so, if you've enjoyed that, please leave a thumbs up on the video for me. Subscribe to my channel for daily football manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.